there, Crystal Thompson here with Simon Says Stamp. Today I have three very cool and very fun cards using watercolors and the watercolor cards included in the March 2020 card kit. Stay tuned, let me show you what we're making. We're mixing some colors, gold and teal. We got a very easy, messy watercolor, no embossing needed in this. We're just simply watercoloring and stamping. And last but not least, we have a ink blended, again, fussy cut, that beautiful flower, heat embossing the sentiment. So they're all super easy. You can customize with whatever products you have in your craft room and the Simon Says 2020 card kit. All products are linked below. There are affiliate links. So I will get a small commission if you purchase through my links at no additional cost to you. And guys, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe so you get more notifications of videos such as these so stay tuned on all the tutorials for these cards all right guys for this card we're going to be doing some simple water coloring ink blending heat embossing and we get this beautiful bright card using the kit all right guys for our first card we are going to begin with the awesome flower these are uh, drawn by Susie Plantera, Plantera, I can't ever say her last name. Anyway, she's fabulous and super talented. So I have gone ahead and watercolored these with Zig Clean Color Markers. And then I'm going to be using the sentiment from the beautiful Stronger Together stamp set. And I'm using the Hello Again, I've Missed You. Then we're going to be using some Distress Oxide, some blender brushes, and white embossing powder. So let's get started. So I have my white piece of cardstock, and this guy, it's an A2 size card, so it's four and a half, and five, four and a quarter and five and a half, and then I trimmed about tenth inch of an, on the edge, just so it will mat really nicely with our white cardstock. I have Distress Oxizing Cracks Pistachio and, Dis and Lucky Clover, and so all we're going to do is we're going to create a really nice blended background. It's going to make it really pop with that beautiful purple flower that was included in the kit. So I'm going to begin with this cracked pistachio. I'm just going to do um, kind of like an oval because our flower is going to sit over it. And I want to make it nice and light. However, I still wanted to blend because we're going to do some heat embossing with the sentiment. So I have um, kind of off to the left now we're going to bring in our Lucky Clover and we're going to really focus on the edges. So we're going to start at the edge and then bringing that color down. In the Simon Says Kit, there is a white cardstock included so you can very well utilize that to create your ink blended background. I'm totally loving the spring color vibe. And so I'm just going to blend, blend, blend all the way through. I'm going to do it all around and then we are going to splatter it with white paint. All right, so I have added the splatters and let it dry. So now we're gonna do our sentiment. So I brought in that beautiful floral and I'm just gonna try to measure out where I am placing this. So you wanna put it in further in or further out on the edge. I think I'm gonna angle it just a bit. So I'm gonna stamp my sentiment. Hello again, I've missed you from that beautiful stamp set. Down below on that corner, we're just going to hold it down for just a couple seconds to allow the cardstock to really absorb that embossing ink. We're going to come in with our Simon Says Stamp Detail White Embossing Powder, and it's absolutely beautiful. Be sure that your cardstock is completely dry, or you're going to end up with a couple little, um, what do you call that, little splatters of heat embossing powder. So here I'm showing you how to clean it up with a with a dry brush. You want to grab that embossing powder and just remove any excess. And it's very easy to do. We're going to go ahead and heat set this. I'm going to heat set from the bottom. My reasoning why is I don't want my, my powder to go all over the place. I want to have a nice and thick sentiment. And there we have it. Super, super easy way to create a very nice sentiment. So I'm going to add some foam to the back of this and we're going to go ahead and place it on our card. All right, so I have me my pure white. This is a matte finish paint. If you don't have a spritzer, this is from Altenew, you can use white watercolor. It would do the same effect. 
and it just gives it a little more texture because I wanted to get that white embossing powder and just some of this background with these blotters make it so artsy and I am just absolutely loving it. So you just be a little bit gentle with it, just flicker the end of your brush or of your um, applicator. And then I have my flower and I've added a little bit of foam to the back and I use just regular one-sided sheet foam and cut it to the size that I need. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to place my beautiful flower, but I'm not going to cut it just yet. And the reason why is I'm going to bring in my card base and this is just a standard card base. It's just white. And like I had mentioned earlier, my cardstock had been trimmed just a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and just add some adhesive to the back. I am using the Scrapbook Adhesives Easy Runner in Grand. We're going to do an X and just two little strips of glue and we're going to place this down. Okay. Be sure that your ink splatters are completely dry so you don't end up uh, getting it all over your fingers and then messing up your card. So then we're going to just turn this around and then we're going to trim. So just following the line from the card panel or card base at this point since it's just put together. We trim that excess and at this point you can go ahead and embellish if you choose. I'm really quite happy with it. The flower is the main focus. We got this really fun sentiment and we have a DIY background and all being done quite, quite easily using the contents of your kit. Hey there, look at this fun card. We're going to be creating. Stay tuned. We're going to do some messy watercolor technique along with simple stamping in brown and it all comes together very nicely using the Simon Says March 2020 kit. Alrighty, so to begin, we are going to use Another of the watercolor cards we're really utilizing, they're really fun, I love, love florals. We're going to trim the edges off of this, so we're going to cut about a quarter of an inch here, a quarter of an inch down here. Then we're going to stamp the sentiments, Taught you were, though you were far apart, you're always in my heart. We're going to do that on a piece of white card, so I'm going to fussy cut around it, and we're going to do some messy watercolor on this, so let's get started. Alrighty guys, so I have trimmed it. I have my Koi watercolors. You can use the watercolor pencils included in the kit. However, I want to make it super fast, super simple. So I am thinking about the colors of an actual daisy. So we're going to try to um, keep these pretty, pretty simple. We're going to start with this lovely brown. We're going to do all those centers. And what this is going to do is just going to allow us to add those colors and let it dry and so be sure not to add too much water just enough water to move it around but not so much that it's going to go over to the petals so you can make these daisies you can make these dandelions whatever it is that you want I think Susie um, the illustrator and artist of these watercolor cards is leaving it to us so we're gonna allow those to dry for just a bit we're gonna pop on over and grab this beautiful olive gray and we're just gonna do a simple line and again it's messy watercolor so we're not trying to stay too far within the lines and it's a great way to use your watercolor cards right and I have enough color on this one to just plop it on we'll come over a little bit later and add on one more shade so we're trying to keep two shades per color that we decide to use. So I have this dry. I'm using a watercolor brush, a water brush, excuse me, and a baby wipe. Just makes it super simple to clean up. So I'm going to grab my yellow and I have this really light. I have three shades of yellow available in this palette. So we're just going to follow along the petals and I'm just adding this color. I'll come back a little bit later and layer some more color. But again, just keeping it very simple and very easy.
All right, that was the easiest watercolor, right? Super easy to make. Just keeps it very simple. We're gonna place the watercolor panel on our card base and I've added some adhesive and I wanna be sure that you know that you add adhesive to all the edges, especially with this watercolor panel that can easily curl with that water. We're gonna place them down. Now you have a really nice clean edge for your card, very elegant. For our sentiment, we're gonna be the, though you're far apart, we're always here. I stamped it onto the white cardstock using brown ink, and then using a paper trimmer, I trimmed the edges, and then very carefully trim the edges of the inside of the sentiment. And then we're just gonna place this guy on the edge of the card. I have some foam adhesive so you get that beautiful layering makes it super super easy guys and that does it for this card using some messy watercolor techniques all right guys i have this really fun card we're watercoloring we're trimming it so fussy cut and then using some very different colors gold and black and it all works out really nicely so stay tuned on how to make this card using the simon says stamp march 2020 card kit Alrighty, so for the supplies for this card, we are using another set of the florals, and these are super pretty. Colored them in rays of teals, and then added some yellow and gold, and I used the Zig Clean Color Markers with this. Then I have two pieces of cardstock. I have just a very simple black, and I have some gold cardstock. This is actually vellum, but I mean, when are we going to use gold vellum? So I thought, you know what, we're going to put in the background. It's going to create a really fun color. And it's not foil, and it's not glitter. It just looks very different. Then for the sentiment, we are using the beautiful Miss You from The Stronger Together. You're going to need some gold embossing, some gold glitter, or paint such as this hide swap so anything will work so let's get started we're going to begin by placing our black cardstock right over our gold vellum and as i said this is just what i had in my craft room you can use anything you like or even the cardstock included in the kit so there we have it we have the cardstocks now we have the florals so before we go ahead and place these we are going to stamp our sentiment but we're going to place these where we think we want to place them right so there's already foam in the back we're going to bring in our simon says stamp embossing watermark ink and the miss you we're going to be using the fine gold embossing powder from simon says as well we're just going to be sure that we are placing the miss you in the right place be sure that is nice and straight remove your florals and let that cardstock absorb the embossing ink we have that ready to go and then we're going to come in with our gold and i know this gold's not going to match exactly that gold that we're using on the vellum but it'll be just fine we're going to heat emboss from the bottom hopefully it will be too thick it's going to take just a little bit um, more heat. However, by heat embossing the bottom, you won't lose and blow the embossing dust all over the place. So there we have it. Makes it a little easier to not overcook. Then we're going to grab, again, how we had mentioned earlier, the flowers. And I have added a foam sheet on the back instead of a roll of foam. And the reason why is that I want to be sure that I had the full thing fully elevated and you get a nice balance of, of lift. So we're gonna place this down. Oh, before we place it down, I'm gonna add my glitter or my gold paint. And I guess it's from Heidi Swap. This is an old one, I'm almost out. However, you can use the same thing with watercolor. So you have your Sakura um, gold watercolor. It would do the same thing. You just kind of mix it into a pigmented water base use your water brush and then add your drips and it's just gonna give it a little bit of dimension a little bit more fun to it and now we can come back with our flowers that we had just placed down and we're gonna place them da, 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 da. And there you have it, super easy, right? Super simple, you have combination of gold and teal and black, and it all looks very nicely. It's a very elegant card. 
that does it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Super easy, right? And I love using the contents of our kids and you don't have to mix and match all the colors, but what an array of florals. And I'm just loving this card kit and we just used the cards. So be sure to come back. I will have another video doing clean and simple cards using your Simon Says Stamp March 2020 card kit. And be sure to click subscribe and all the links to the products used today are below. See you later, guys. Have a lovely day.